We will start monitoring your heart rate, your HRV, and your respiratory. Right. From that data, it basically comes down to safety for driving, right? We're always trying to monitor the driver. We're trying to know if the driver has a problem. And then what do you do if there's a problem, right? Yep. Hello, IPXers. We are at CES 2025. Somebody said to me, do you want to sit down and do the demo in a car? What a silly question. Of course I want to do a demo in a car. So we're talking to Chris while I'm sat in the car and he's going to tell us about what's going on if this was an autonomous car and it was monitoring my vital signs. Chris, what's going on with this demo? So what we are showcasing today uh, is our vital signs monitoring. We're using 60 gigahertz millimeter wave radar, so non-invasive. Yep. You don't have to wear anything. Yeah, I don't even know it's going on. Exactly. It, it's just in the background, literally on the back of our seat here. Right. So it's firing through the seat. So the radar is sat behind me. Yep. I'm not, not being intrusive, just listening and waiting. That's right. Watching your heart, your compression, your chest compression, everything, all your vital signs. So as we start the demo. Nearby information like parking spots. So first we go through a basic calibration because we're in an environment where we're testing hundreds hey, of people all the time yep. over your vital, after we drive, grab all of your data we will start normal. monitoring your heart rate, heart rate your hrv rate, and your respiratory right from that data it's basically comes down to safety for driving right we're always trying to monitor the driver we're trying to know if the driver has a problem and then what do you do if there's a problem right yep. so if there's a problem assuming you're in an ev or auto drive or something else but let's be honest this could be handling heavy machinery, for instance. It could be heavy machinery, it could yep. be uh, your car, your personal car, it could be anything, right? Yeah. Emergency yep. vehicles, yeah. whatever. Yeah. And if there's a problem, we can detect it instantly. Yeah. And then maybe autonomy could actually take over yep. and prevent a horrific accident. Yeah, right? so we're in a scenario where I'm driving along the highway, I'm in my uh, car that's not in autonomous mode, and then something goes wrong. This radar senses something goes wrong. It says, there is something going wrong. I'm taking over to stop a disastrous situation. That's right. Yeah. And all of that is done in an unintrusive, you don't even know what's going on, but it's working together to make sure that I'm healthy. Yep, exactly. So in addition to that, we also make a heads up display as well, or not the physical heads up display, but the coding for it. So we're improving it, giving better clarity for the driver, right? So it's not blurry, it's crisp and clear, your attention is kept on the road, but through the heads up display as well. So through all of this information, we're just trying to improve the safety for our drivers. Right, right, excellent, thank you. Somebody gave me an opportunity to sit in a car at CES. Guess what I did? I sat in the car and then I found out all about how your radar is keeping an eye on me to make sure I'm healthy and that I'm alive. And if not, the car takes over and quietly, safely puts me in a place where I can be looked after. Excellent. What a good demo. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yeah.